the Clippers will look to salvage one win this season against the defending world champion Golden State Warriors Wednesday night in Oakland. The Clippers, of course, are the last team to beat the Warriors in a seven-game playoff series that came two seasons ago. And after beating the Spurs, the defending champions, last season in the first round of the playoffs, the Clippers were poised to maybe move up in that pecking order for a world championship. But they lost in the second round to Houston, and the Warriors leapfrogged them and took their first NBA championship in 40 years. I don't even think that's up for discussion. You know, they are the defending champions. So they obviously leapfrogged us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but, but yeah, but do you guys feel like that you should have been, it should have been you guys? No, you know? no, it's none of that should have been us, could have been us. Uh, Doc always says it, uh, the team that wins is supposed to win. You know, they win, you know, so you, you know, Ricky Bobby said, if you're not first, you last, so. <laughs> I think they're better, you know. Uh, I thought we were better two years ago. Uh, I thought they were better last year, and they deserved it. But uh, you know, I, I don't. I, I always hear people. It's uh, like you know, San Antonio has to win the championship this year, or Oklahoma has to win the championship, or the Clippers have to. Well, only one team's gonna win, and I can guarantee you that. And um, having won it, uh, I don't think people who haven't won it really understand how hard it is to win one. Uh, you have to have everything go your way. Uh, and you have to be playing better than good. You have to be playing great. Uh, and so it just takes that. But you just got to keep pounding at it and, and seeing, you know, where you can go. And that's where we're at. That's where San Antonio, that's where everyone's at that has a chance. I think we're one of the teams, you know, obviously with Blake, uh, that has a chance. And uh, that's all we want is that opportunity. So in the grand scheme of things, what does this final meeting between the Warriors and Clippers mean to Los Angeles? especially since they're going in again without Blake Griffin. Nothing. You know, let's beat them. It's always nice to beat them. It's always nice for them to beat us. Uh, other than that, um, it means more when you're into the game because it's fun playing in those games. Um, the, you know, if you're ready, you'll find that out. Uh, but if we win by 20, it doesn't matter to Golden State. Uh, it really doesn't matter to us after the game, you know, except for we won a game and it's nice to beat the defending champs. You know, but they're used to getting the best from every team every night. That's what comes with winning a title. And I, I would say I've not seen a team in a long time handle that better than Golden State has. I mean, if we beat them, it's going to be a great story. If not, they're going to be like, well, they still depleted. You know, but we're going to come out there. We're going we're gonna to compete, and uh, we, we're going to play to win. After Wednesday night's game in Oakland against the Warriors, the Clippers are back home the following night at Staples Center to take on the Portland Trailblazers. From the Clippers training facility in Playa Vista, California, I'm Eric Geller.